Welcome to the Awesome Possum Classroom, boys and girls. This is week two, lesson one of your daily phonics. Rhyme time. A rhyme is a repeated sound in two or more words like the at sound and cat, hat, and bat. Listen to these two words, true, blue. Say true, blue. Do you hear the oo sound in true and blue? True and blue rhyme. Now let's practice. Listen as I say two rhyming words. Repeat the words back to me. If the words rhyme, give me a thumbs up. If they do not rhyme, give me a thumbs down. Stop. Met. Thumbs down. Rag. Lag. Thumbs up. Pay way. Thumbs up. Band lend. Thumbs down. Mutt rut. Thumbs up. Good job. Now let's listen to the first sound in a word. Listen for the first sound in the word. Name. What sound do you hear at the beginning of name? Say the sound, not the letter. N name. Okay, tell me what sound you hear at the beginning of the word. No. N. What sound do you hear at the beginning of paper? P. What sound do you hear at the beginning of window? Wa. What sound do you hear at the beginning of robot? Er. What sound do you hear at the beginning of yell? Yeah. Good job. Blending to make words. Blending to make words mean we put all the word parts together to make a new and bigger word. Foot ball. Football. Do you hear the two words in football? Foot and ball. Say football. What two words do you hear in football? Very good. Now, I will say two small words, and you will say the words back to me and blend them together to make one big word. Are you ready? Base ball. What's the word? Baseball. Meat ball. What's the word? Meatball. Sea horse. What's the word? Seahorse. Lip stick. What's the word? Lipstick. Pan cake. What's the word? Pan cake. Great job. Now let's listen for the ending sound. Listen for the last sound you hear in the word. Size. What sound do you hear at the end of size? Say the sound, not the letter. Z. Size. Z. All right. What sound do you hear at the end of the word pass? S. What sound do you hear at the end of the word fat? T. What, si uh, what sound do you hear at the end of the word buzz? Z. What sound do you hear at the end of the word crave? V. What sound do you hear at the end of the word hip? What sound do you hear at the end of the word whack? K. Good job. Now let's practice segmenting. Segmenting means listening to the whole word and then breaking it down into smaller parts. Say snowsuit. What two word parts do you hear in the word snowsuit? Snow suit. All right, so now I will say one big word. You will say the word back to me and take it apart into two smaller words. 
Say sunfish. What two smaller words do you hear in the word sunfish? Sunfish. Say candlelight. What two smaller words do you hear in the word candlelight? Candle light. Say starlight. What two smaller words do you hear in the word starlight? Starlight. Say airplane. What two smaller words do you hear in the word airplane? Airplane. Say doghouse. What two smaller words do you hear in the word doghouse? Dog house. Excellent. Now let's work with compound words. Compound words are two words put together to make one. We can add to the end of a word to make a compound word. Say bed. Add room at the end and the word is bedroom. All right, let's practice. Say I. Add ball and the new word is eyeball. Say foot. Add step, and the new word is footstep. Say hot. Add dog, and what's the new word? Hot dog. Say mail. Add box, and what's the new word? Mailbox. Say neck. Add tie, and the new word is necktie. Excellent. We can take away a word from the end of a compound word and say what is left. Playtime. Say playtime. Without time, what is left? Play. Good job. All right, let's practice. Say newborn. Without the word born, what is left? New. Say newsletter. Without the word letter, what is left? News. Say newspaper. Without the word paper, what is left? News. Say playhouse. Without the word house, what is left? Play. Say popcorn. Without the word corn, what is left? Pop. Good job. Changing words. We can change a word part to make a new word. Say toothbrush. Change brush to paste and the new word is toothpaste. Say birthday. Change birth to sun and the new word is Sunday. Say snowbird. Change bird to suit and the new word is Snowsuit. Say sunburn. Change burn to flower and the new word is sunflower. Say sunflower. Change flower to glasses and the new word is sunglasses. Say sunglasses. Change glasses to shine, and the new word is sunshine. Good job. Let's learn the alphabet. We can learn letter names and letter sounds. Each letter has a name and a sound. I will ask you the letter and then the sound the letter makes. What is the letter? C. What is the sound? What is the letter? E. What is the sound? E. What is the letter? B. What is the sound? B. What is the letter? H. What is the sound? What is the letter? G. What is the sound? G. 
G. What is the letter? M. What is the sound? M. What is the letter? I. What is the sound? I. What is the letter? F. What is the sound? F. What is the letter? Z. What is the sound? Z. What is the letter? D. What is the sound? D. What is the letter? K. What is the sound? K. What is the letter? J. What is the sound? J. What is the letter? L. What is the sound? L. What is the letter? N. What is the sound? N. What is the letter? O. What is the sound? A. What is the letter? Q. What is the sound? Qua. What is the letter? P. What is the sound? P. What is the letter? R. What is the sound? Er. What is the letter? V. What is the sound? V. What is the letter? T. What is the sound? T. What is the letter? S. What is the sound? What is the letter? U. What is the sound? A. Uh. What is the letter? A. What is the sound? A. Uh. What is the letter? W. What is the sound? Wa. What is the letter? X. What is the sound? X. What is the letter? Y. What is the sound? Ya. Now you will do an activity with your teacher, boys and girls. Your teacher will say a line. You will say the line and clap the number of words in the line. Then count how many words are in each line. Teachers, at this time, pause the video so that you can do this activity with your class. That's the end of our lesson for today, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow.